Open the Sibeli 7 file. I've played with time signatures in here and I'm not really getting what I want. Uh, so I just went ahead to file, export, delete, and making sure it's type 1 format so that everything's not just collapsed onto one MIDI channel. Put this on the desktop e, and uh, we'll call this rainbow for click. Let's save that to the desktop. Okay, we're done with Sibelius and I don't need to save that. So I've got my Rainbow for Click MIDI file, looks like an iTunes file, and I'm going to go to um, Pro Tools now, and while I'm doing this, I'm also going to grab anything that it looks like I might need. Um, there's a timing track, thank you. So we'll grab this, put this on my desktop. It'll be imported into the session file. I do have this time signature PDF as well right now, and we're not worried about that either. Okay, first things first, uh, 4416, find interleave, that's great because that combines left and right channels. And we'll call this, um, I guess, Rain Rainbow Master. We're set so that uh, any audio we bring in will automatically be saved as part of the session. So there's a scratch timing track. Um, our MIDI, um, I'm going to actually put that on a new track. Um, yeah. TV. We're going to have to assign these instruments in a few minutes. And I don't know what this is. Maybe it's a soloist. Um, yeah, it looks like it. Okay, so that's good. And it's a little bit bigger for myself. That's a little bit too big. I'm going to go like this. All right, let's assign some instruments. I'm just going to make instrument channels. I don't want many tracks. So we'll do um, one here for the soloist. These will be, uh, I'll just make stereo instrument tracks. You, know, you highlight the badge and it places it directly after that one, which is kind of cool. All right, uh, so I'm just going to use, uh, it doesn't even matter, um, I'm not timing to these necessarily, but I'm going to have to change the MIDI data somehow to make everything fit. Um, I'll just use expand, and I'll just use a real basic kind of keyboard sound in here, I think. So we'll go to... Pianos. Let's use like a some kind of soft piano. Hold Alt Option. Just copy that across here. Whatever. And um, this will be my soloist. Hold Command. This will be SA. Holding Command using arrow keys. This will be TTB. Um, or TTB, I guess, as it were. Then. Um, I need to drag these MIDI clips, which used to be called regions. Grab a tool, and you'll notice that they now take on a color instead of the grayed out. That's because they're assigned to an instrument. So that gets us started. Um, I can zap um, the MIDI tracks. I don't need those anymore. Let's delete those. There's nothing on them. And now I have a totally expressionless uh, MIDI track. Less than zero phrasing. All right. Um, uh, let's see. That's going to be big for you too. So we'll go there, and we need to bring in the audio. All right. We're probably going to have to insert time at the beginning of this at some point, which may be what uh, you guys were up to the other day. Um, it looks like it's clipped in the beginning there, but we'll just call that. The downbeat. We need to establish. Um, let's see. We've got a bar of four, and I need to make sure that Blue Man is turned on, which he is. Otherwise, I won't get tempo changes. Uh, let's see what we're dealing with here. I am gonna have to create a click as a reference. So we'll do that right now. And we don't want that to be pitched. So it's classic. Yuri click accented. Actually, you know what? 
Well, yeah. Let's do the let's do the accented and unaccented ones. Okay. So we're just a quarter note equals one twenty now, and it's time to uh, kind of start beat mapping here. Let's see what we got. <laughs> So this needs to be beat four of bar one. So we're like incredible. What I really need to do is I need to insert time. So it is this. I think the issue here is that the Sibelius file, which again I've got right here, um, has Fermata's written in. And so the MIDI information was uh, skewed, thinking that we still need those fermatas. So we've got a lot more than one bar worth of material here because of that fermata. So how many more times does this happen is a real question. Well, thankfully, it doesn't look like it happens too many more times. Uh, I'm going to have to make an adjustment here. Yeah. All right, there we go. Uh, break C. Um, ba 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 ba, and oops, these are supposed to come off here. Um, I don't want to select the entirety of that. I just want that. And again, this is all because that Fermat is in the notation program, I think. So let's change this to clips. So we need to map out where at this point. All right, I'm going to mute MIDI again. In fact, let's make a grouping so that I don't have to do this every single time. Let's make a grouping. So it's all these elisions that are tricky with this vocal stuff, because, like there, because the uh, the woo, the vowel, is anticipating the chord. So yeah, I'm going to mark it there. Um, and so, let's say that we want some here to be uh, two beats. Pencil tool. So the MIDI follows along with it. Okay, so we need this to be two beats, and then the next, the where, this is, needs to be locked. Very important. Otherwise it keeps drifting. All right, so... Where? So, uh, it's going to be three, like so, I should do it. And there's our sixteenth on clock again. according to what I have. Uh, I'm just double checking my work. Yeah, given what I have here, that's what's wanted. Okay, so that's off of five. So there's the marker here. Okay, this is release. 
Okay, on five. So, um, let's start our pencil work right here. And do this and line up with. Oh, I got to insert a meter change. So here. That five four. Okay. Cool. And now we should make that happen. Okay, so Yep. There we go. And the MIDI looks like it continues on because again we have a fermata, the symbol is five. That's what's going on there. I'm gonna have to make that adjustment right now, so let's do that grouped here with all these MIDI dudes, and um, it's one thing I really don't like about Pro Tools a whole lot, is that it sort of blew off that break, yeah, that's what we need. Okay, so now we uh, have a bar of 3, 4, we have to make that happen in the right place, is there an elision? Probably some. Or the S. So here's where the, the tone starts. That was a scrub tool. Um, let's do this. Right there. And I'll mark that. Make that absolute. This is the three four bar. I need to remember to do that. Uh, yeah, so three four bar. We have to get this in the right place though. So pencil tool here and um, uh, yeah. Okay, it looks weird, but I think it's right. Yep, that's what we need. Alright, and now we're beat mapping individual. We got eighth notes here. Um, so, let's see, the motion in the MIDI files right here, and remember the MIDI files are reflecting what's up here. We need to mute these guys again. And actually, we need to click of seven. Yeah, so it's right around here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where it's at. So again, scrub tool if you want. Yeah. So maybe right here. Okay, it's not that far off. Make this absolute. Cool. Um, zoom in, and this is bar 3, 4, I didn't make that happen, um, grid mode, meter, 3, 4, okay, 16th notes, and, um, So beat three is where? It's a really long elision there. Uh, let me use a scrub tool. Right around here. It's very singers unlimited with those huge elisions. Um, so this is where um, that has to happen on B2. Uh, this is correct. I think I'm going to have to do a slow, slow down here quite a bit. Let's just snap. And yeah, 
should do it. Um, so I've lost my resolution. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, that is the and. So those are sixteenth notes. Yeah, those are sixteenth notes. Which is such a slow tempo. All right. Um, so then we've got, this is just a bar three that holds into wherever the soloist starts. Uh, and I think we've got a bad offset here. All right. So I feel like hopefully that gives gives you enough, um, you know, to, to continue on with the process like this. It's just a matter of drawing in these tempo changes up here with the pencil tool and, you know, inserting memory locations. It's enter on the keypad. Uh, the click on and off is 7 on the keypad. Uh, and I'm using a reference of absolute uh, so that, again, so that these little doodads don't uh, move around on me when I start changing the tempos. We don't want them to. We want them lined up with audio. Um, the MIDI will conform itself accordingly. Okay, and you'll know if they're locked because they look like diamonds instead of little, um, instead of this. Okay. Alright, I hope that's helpful.